This is the homework for lesson 19. It's module six of first grade. Write your name here first. And we're using whatever strategy we want to solve the problems. Now, if you have a favorite strategy that you just like to use, just stick with it. It's your go-to strategy. That's okay. But I think really the idea here is that uh, you should look at the look at the digits. We know so many different strategies now that look at the numbers and think some strategies are definitely better than others depending on what the numbers are and uh, here's an example I see I'm looking it almost always has to do with looking at the ones place digits first so I see a three and a two and those are going to add up to a total of five ones so I see a great chance here to just use this And then remember, you got to line these up. Your ones place digits and your tens place digits have to line up like that. And so do your sums. So three plus two is five and five plus two is seven. And this really is only that simple when you uh, when your ones digits don't make a ten. Seventy five. And we can do the same thing with these because it's another three and another two. So twenty three plus 52 and it looks like you'll see we're adding the same numbers almost three plus two five ones and two tens and five tens seven tens 75 you have to show your work so now now here we have a situation where it's going to be a little more complicated to use that method because we've got six and a four those are going to make ten so we've got a, a strategy that works really well when we see partners to 10 we split up a number bond and we add the ones digit first because we know it's going to get us to the next 10 76 plus the 4 is going to get us to 80 that's the next 10 and then we just add the 10 to the 80 and those are the steps you write down to show how you do it in your head so we're just looking at those numbers Mentally, I would look at it and I'd be thinking 76. Oh, there's the four. So, that, okay, that makes the six and the four makes another 10. So that's 70, 80, and one more 10, 90. And that's kind of the thought process, how you do it in your head. But this is how you write it down with these two equations. And that's what you have to do. We're practicing showing our work. So maybe you can do this in your head. You don't have to write it down, but you have to show how you did it in your head. And that's how you, that's how you show it. 76 plus 16. Now here I've got doubles. Right? So maybe uh, you, you're you really good with your doubles and you see that 6 plus 6 and you're like, oh, I want to use the arrow away because I know 6 plus 6 is 12. I just want to start with that. And if you don't know your doubles that great and you don't know 6 plus 6 right off, then maybe this doesn't work for you and a different method is going to work where you're going to use number bonds. Then really I'm kind of using number bonds here 70 and 6 and 10 and 6 and I'm just adding the 6 is first and then I'll add the 70 and then I'll add the 10 so 6 plus 6 is 12 and then I'll add the 70 to 82 and then I'll add the 10 more 92 92 Oh, and I gotta write my sum over here for number three. Let me make sure I did that for the others. I did. Okay. Here I see another way to use partners two fives. I mean, what could be easier? So 30 and 5 is my number bond. And um 55 plus the 5, 60, and 60 plus 30. Six tens plus three ten. Six plus three is nine, but it's nine ten, so it's ninety. And here we have partners to ten again. So looking at this forty and six. Sixty plus forty. There's our partners to ten again. Six plus four. That makes ten tens, which is a hundred. Right, you see that 10 tens. There's your hundred. 
And now we're looking at 49 plus 25. Well, this 49 is almost 50, so there's another method we can use here. Let's get that to 50. We need one more for that, and then think of this as one less, 24. And then you're just adding 50 to 24. And same thing here. There's a 49, so I'm just going to use that again. And that's going to be 44. 49 plus 1 is 50. Ninety-four, and here we have two sevens, thirty-seven plus thirty-seven, and you could. There's a lot you could use that. And like if you good with your double sevens, and you want to start off by putting those together first for fourteen, you could do it that way. You definitely could, um, or you could. You can take this. 37 and you could say I don't know I don't usually do this because I like to do this strategy just with eights and nines but that 37 is only three away from 40 and that's 34 so I could I could do this also 37 plus 3 is 40 40 plus the 34 74 Um, I usually don't, if, if the ones, if I have a, an eight or a nine for the ones digit, then usually I'll use that strategy to try and add, break up with a number bond to add up to the next 10. Um, but usually with sevens, I'll, I like to use, I like, to, I, I like to use the number bonds and, uh, um, air away. So this is 30 and seven. This is 50. And seven. I'm going to add the sevens first. Now I'm showing two different ways to work with seven double sevens here because I know double sevens is not one that's a really popular one that you get first in your head. So maybe a lot of people don't have that one yet. Now I'm going to add the 30 and then the 50. I've already got the two sevens. All right, I'm just adding tens now. So I'm just looking at those tens digits. Four tens now with the four ones still. And now I'm adding the 50. And I have nine tens and I still have the four ones. 94. You could have also used a trick that now you know what 37 plus 37 is. You could start with that and know that 57 is just 20 more. If you notice that and you decide to use it, you could. Um, it's not the best way to show your mental math, but you can use it. 24 plus 48, well here I got that 8, so I'm just going to use 2 and 22. 48 plus 2, is 50. 50, and 50 plus 22, 72. And here we have a 6 and an 8, and I could do the same thing with this one and make it uh, 24. And then I'd have uh, 70 plus 24. But I haven't drawn anything yet, so I should show that as an example just to, so that everybody gets to see a little bit of the different strategies we practiced. So for this one, I wouldn't try to do it just vertically. I'd have to draw the quick 10s and 1s. And uh, let me show you exactly what I mean if you haven't. If you haven't seen it in the other videos. So uh, the 26 is two tens and six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the 68 is going to be six tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now for this trick, you have to you have to look to make tens first with your ones, or it won't work. So this eight needs two more. And now I'm looking at four ones. And now I just count my tens. And this ten I circled is one of them. So what I have is this. I have this, these six tens, plus these two, that's eight. And one more is nine. 
94. And 26, 68. I'm adding the two of them. I see I have that 14 with a 6 and the 8 because it's that 10. It's this 10 again. It's that 10 right here. And these four more. So 10 and 4, 14. There's the 10. I'm going to put that right there. And there's the four ones. And then I'm just like I counted the tens before in the picture. It's two tens plus two tens plus six tens. It's eight tens and one more is nine. Ninety-four. And let me go back and make sure I wrote in all of my sums where the answer blanks are because a lot of times I forget to do that. And if you don't do it, you don't have your answers in. All right, I got it all.